Yo, uh, it's the first time I've tried to record this video today uh, in the space of a few minutes because <laughs> I messed it up twice. Right, um, I'm going to be giving you a roundup of the top four divisions in England. So the Premier League, the Championship, League One and League Two. Everything that's happened, everything that can still happen, everything that I think will happen and everything that can't happen. So, we'll start off from the bottom of League 2. So we'll go up in order. So if we go to League 2, this is what has already happened. South End United and Grimsby Town have both been relegated. The only thing that cannot happen, the only, the only thing that may change in that bottom two is the fact that Grimsby Town might not finish bottom. Though they would have to beat Cambridge United for that to happen and hope that South End lose to Newport. That is following. That comes following Scunthorpe United's 0-0 draw today. Uh, South End United mathematically would have still been able to survive had Scunthorpe just lost to Bradford. Of course, they did beat Barrow today. Did um, what do you want to call it? Did South End uh, somehow, according to one football, means Barrow go up the table, which is not true. Um, Morecambe confirmed playoffs. They can actually still get automatically promoted. We're moving towards the top of the table now. Morecambe can still take either Bolton or Cambridge's. Promotion place, though they are the only team, the the only team that can catch either Cambridge or Bolton. At least one of those teams will be promoted on the end uh, of the last day of the season. Uh, personally, I think it will be Bolton Wanderers and Morecambe. I think Cambridge United will probably bottle it at Grimsby. Morecambe will win their last game and they'll go up automatically. Is what I think we'll do. And it looks like Cheltenham Town are set to win the title. They are two points clear at the top with one game left. Either way, Cambridge have gone up anyway. And the only team that can mathematically catch them besides Cambridge is Bolton. So sorry, Morgan fans, you're not going to see Morgan winning League, League 2. Right, League 1. This is what can happen. So, again, starting from the bottom, we've already got our confirmed bottom four. Rochdale, Northampton could switch places, but they'll both still be relegated. And it's the same with Swindon and Bristol Rovers. That comes following their losses today. Rochdale and Northampton both lost. But Wigan and Wimbledon also lost today. But because Northampton and Rochdale both lost, that's the end. So Wigan, AFC Wimbledon and Burton Albion have pulled off incredible escapes this season. Wigan, of course, were in administration. Their escape was incredible. Burton were bottom at Christmas by, I think, a margin of eight points. And they are looking set to finish 15th. The possible positions for Burton to finish is 15th, 16th or 17th. That's it. So they're safe. Uh, right. Peterborough United were promoted today following their incredible comeback against Lincoln City who inadvertently confirmed a playoff place as well with, with uh, bottling that three-goal lead. Sunderland have also confirmed a playoff place as have, not mathematically, but essentially Blackpool. They haven't mathematically confirmed it, but they are... Three points ahead of Oxford United with a better goal difference. Blackpool are going to get a playoffs. Portsmouth haven't confirmed it. Uh, the only team now that can slip... The only two teams... No, the only team that can now slip... Yeah, there's two. There's only two more teams now that can slip into the playoff places and they are Oxford United and Charlton. Yes, Ipswich have a game in hand, but they can only get to 71 points. Portsmouth in sixth have 72 also, don't forget, Blackpool do have a game in hand. So they can confirm that player place if they win that. And obviously, Hull City won the title. We move to the Championship. Oh, not the Champions League. There we go. Uh, right. All to play for on the last day. Because in the top half of the table, you know. Norwich have been promoted. They've won the, they won the league today. Watford have gone up anyway. We've already got the four teams that are going to be playing in the playoffs. They are Brentford, Swansea, Bournemouth and Barnsley. At the bottom end of the table, it is still all to play for. Let's be honest, Wickham are down. Not mathematically down, but they would have to hope that Sheffield United beat Derby just 1-0. And that would also mean that Wickham would have to score 14 goals in their last game of the season. Because if Derby County either draw or win, Wickham are down anyway. Wickham have to score 14 goals, and that could increase as Sheffield Wednesday score goals. Uh, if, should I say, if Sheffield Wednesday score goals. But, Rotherham United have still got a game in hand. They have a better goal difference than Derby, so if they win that game in hand, which is, I think, against Luton Town, they would send Derby into the relegation zone, given that they've got a better goal difference. 
And then if Sheffield Wednesday beat Derby County, Rotherham United would be safe because they have a better goal difference. And then obviously Rotherham would get, have to get a point against Cardiff as well in the last day, which is not probably not going to happen. But what have we got last game of the season in the Championship? Derby County versus Sheffield Wednesday. What a game that is. What a game. It's basically winner, winner, winner stays up, isn't it? Essentially. Derby are feeling in a much better position because all they really need is a draw. Um, but they cannot underestimate Sheffield Wednesday. Derby, of course, they, uh, no, Wednesday, of course, got a point today against Nottingham Forest. They're quite fortunate they didn't lose that game, I think. But obviously, the penalty save. But all they now have to do is beat Derby County and they've stayed up. And not only that, but they would have sent Derby and Rotherham down if they beat Derby. That's if Rotherham don't win their game in hand, which is against Luton. But yeah, if, Luton, if Rotherham win their game in hand, they put Derby in the relegation zone going into the final day. And then no matter what happens, if Rotherham United win both of their last two league games, both Derby County and Sheffield Wednesday will go down. It's not going to happen because Rotherham United have been dreadful in these last few games. But imagine the scenes. Rotherham come out of nowhere and relegate the both of them. Actually, they'd relegate the three of them, wouldn't they? Because Wickham would go down as well. Think of that. But if Rotherham did win that game in hand, that would mean that Wickham have to score... Let's say Rotherham win 1-0. Yeah. Let's say Rotherham win 1-0 against Luton, right? And it takes their goal difference to minus 15. Wickham would have to score... They would have to score 19 goals in one game. It's ridiculous. And now we move on to the Premier League, of course. The top tier of English football. What has already been confirmed? Right. Sheffield United relegated. We knew that from day one. Well, not day one, but you know what I mean. We knew Sheffield United relegated anyway. Uh, Fulham, who are currently, as I'm recording this, losing to Chelsea anyway... We are nine points off safety with 12 available. They'd need to win every game now. And one of those games is against Manchester United. They have no excuse. They have to win that game. They're not going to beat United, but they have to. They have to give it their all. Furthermore, they have to hope that Newcastle keep dropping points. Mathematically, Burnley can still be relegated as well, but it's not going to happen. Uh, everyone above Wolves is safe. But Wolves, I don't think, are mathematically safe as it as we speak. No, no, they're not. West Brom could actually still send them down. What a turn up that would be. I oh, know they are safe, are they? I can't tell. Right, let's, let's assume West Brom win their next game. Oh, Wolves got a game in hand anyway. Wolves are safe. So, anyone above Crystal Palace is safe. So, Wolves, Aston Villa, Arsenal, Leeds, all them, they're all staying in the Premier League. Uh, right, at the top end of the table, it's still got a few matches, it's still got like four or five matches to go in the Premier League anyway. Manchester City will win the Premier League tomorrow if Liverpool beat Manchester United at Old Trafford. If that happens, City have won the Premier League. I don't think it will, I think it'll probably end as a draw. But. That is what will happen should Liverpool do the unthinkable. Liverpool can essentially take the title chances away from Manchester United tomorrow. They could basically be like, well, you laughed at us for having a bad season. Yoink, no chance of a Premier League title. That's what we can say. But Leicester City looks cemented in a Champions League place. Liverpool, as it stands are now seven points off a Champions League place, although we do have a game in hand. As do West Ham, who are eight points, no, six points off a Champions League place. Tottenham also have a game in hand. Everton have two games in hand. Everton, of course, play later today. Chelsea are still one up as it stands. I've got to say, that goal from Kai Havertz was incredible. The ball, the touch from Mount, the finish, everything about that goal was brilliant. But yeah, that's been the Football League roundup. I didn't check the National League because, I'm going to be quite honest, 
I don't care. <laughs> but, yeah. Next season's going to be exciting. Going to have Peterborough United in the Championship. Potentially going to have Derby County and Sheffield Wednesday in League One. Imagine that. We're going to have at least one of them. But who's it going to be? Is it going to be Derby County or is it going to be Sheffield Wednesday? Or is it going to be both? We won't know till the last day. Of course, if that is to happen, Rotherham have to win that game in hand against Luton. Okay. This is what I'm going to say now. I'm going to give awards. Not that it means anything. So, the Premier League most surprising team of the season. I'm going to give that to Leicester City because of the way that they've... They're not a traditional top six side, yet they've gone up there and they've pretty much cemented a Champions League place. I could have said negatively, I could have said both Arsenal and Liverpool for bad seasons, but I didn't. I said Leicester because they've been ridiculously good. And I could have also said West Ham, but I didn't. Flop of the lot in the Premier League, of, of course it's going to be Sheffield United. Sheffield United are the flop of the lot in the Premier League. And the Dark Horses, again, I'm going to give them to West Ham United, the Dark Horses. And the reason I'm giving them the Dark Horses as opposed to Leicester is because Leicester have played Champions League football before. But Leicester have surprised me the most because they had to do a large proportion of it without Madison and Vardy. And Ian Acho just completely stepped up, didn't he? Right, moving on to the Championship and the Championship most surprising team of the season. The team that surprised me the most. It doesn't take a genius to work out what this is going to be. It's Barnsley. Who would have thought they would have gotten a Championship playoff place? What a season Barnsley have had. Um, flop of the lot, I'm going to give it to Reading because they were top of the table at around Christmas time and they've now they're not even going to get a playoff place. So the Championship flop of the lot is Reading. And the Dark Horses, um, I'm not going to give it to Barnsley just because I don't want to give Barnsley the same like, award. But I'm going to give <clears throat> I'm going to give Dark Horses to Coventry because of how well they've cemented themselves into the league, into the Championship for next season. Moving on to League One, then the most surprising team of the season, given the way they started is Burton Albion. I'm going to give it to Burton because of the way that they were bottom of the table at Christmas. They were eight points off safety. In comes a new manager, wipes out half the team, refills half the team with a different load of players and just keeps them up. Love it. Flop of the lot, I'm going to give it to the team that has finished in the, rele uh, a team that has finished in the relegation zone. Oh, who, do I, who do I give it to, actually? Hmm. Flop of the lot. Hmm. It's a tough one in League One because there's not a lot of teams that have flopped. Um, ooh. I'm going to give flop of the lot to Bristol Rovers and that is purely because when they brought in Joey Barton, they at least had a chance of staying up. They brought in Joey Barton, and if anything, he's made it worse at Bristol Rovers. He's got them bottom of the league, he's got them relegated, he hasn't made an impact at all whatsoever. And I'm not saying that's all on Joey Barton, what I'm saying is it's made no difference. And that idea, bringing in a, man uh, bringing in a manager of his stature, complete, completely flopped. Hence Bristol Rovers, flop of the lot. And Dark Horses, I'm going to give it to Wigan, because of the way they went into administration... Uh, they were looked down and out, and like Burton and, of course, Wimbledon, they get themselves in the Football League. In the Football League, in League One. <laughs> I'm going to do a player of the season uh, as well for each team. I'll do that in another video in a moment. But, yeah. And then League Two. The most surprising team in League Two doesn't take a genius through this one out either, does it? Morecambe, look where they've been finishing in the last few seasons and now they're, they're on the brink of at least playoffs. <clears throat> the confirmed playoffs could even still get automatics if Bolton and Cambridge results go their way. The flop of the lot, I'm going to give it to Southend United because of the way they've just bounced down the divisions. That's from League 1 to, the, to League 2, now from League 2 to the National League. So flop of the lot is Southend United. And the Dark Horses, I'll give that to Forest Green Rovers. No, I'll give it to Cheltenham Town, actually. 
Dark Horses, Cheltenham Town. Look at the improvement, and now they've been promoted. Well done, Cheltenham. So, I'm going to go and do a... Hold on. Yeah. Sorry, I was just thinking about something then. Right. Thanks for watching, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.